Ain't no time for tickles and pickles and attaboys in the SEAL teams, especially on a debrief after a mission. I remember one time we messed up really bad and the old bullfrog master chief came over and he said, listen up, and everybody got real quiet. Now he said, imagine you just had a bad jump over enemy territory and you get separated from your team. Now you're all alone in the dark of the night, so you hunker down and wait for daybreak. It seems like the longest night you ever had, but finally the sun starts to break over a distant ridge. You see a man come over that same crest. He's walking slowly towards you now. It's cold, but you're sweating. Your heart is pounding out of your chest and you're trying to just keep it cool. But then you see it's one of your teammates. Is your first reaction gonna be, oh, thank God, it's so-and-so and not that other guy? Because this operator has all the training. He knows everything. Expert on medical trauma, land nav, communications, a sniper even. He's hard as nails and most importantly, He's cool as a cucumber when things get real bad. Or are you gonna say, dang man, not this guy because now I gotta figure everything out on my own and pull this sorry dead weight with me. This Master Chief finished up by asking the group one question. Now what will your teammates reaction be if it's you that walks over that ridge? Because that's how you know where you rank in the SEAL teams. Now after the SEALs, I was at one of the lowest points of my life and the dude that came and picked me up at the airport was that operator that walks over the ridge and you say, oh, thank God, it's my swim buddy, Taylor Cavanaugh. Now Taylor was there for me when I was down and out. So I'm doing a big touch point shout out for him. He took the path less traveled and went from the SEAL teams to the French Foreign Legion. And I hope y'all go over there and check out his YouTube at TCAB official because he is the real deal.